Good afternoon. Welcome to the Great Lakes Fishing Podcast. Today, our guest is Jason Fisher from the Big Water Walleye Championships and the Lake Erie Walleye Trail. Jason, thanks for joining the show. I appreciate you having me on. Jason, first of all, what is the Big Water Walleye Championships? Big Water Walleye Championships um, is a tournament series here on Lake Erie. Uh, we're primarily in Ohio, and we work from west to east and then and then back to the west. Uh, we follow the walleyes around. We've got a series uh, this year, uh, so far scheduled nine events, and we got a big following with uh, walleye guys here on Lake Erie, and uh, the competition's fierce. Competition is fierce. I see the Lake Erie Walleye Trail is also connected because I see you got the Big Water Walleye Championship plus LEWT. How, how does that work? How is that partnership? Or is it the same thing? Can you tell us a little bit about that? So the Big Water Walleye Championships is the business. Um, I wanted to bring, uh, you know, the, the, the sporting aspect back into tournament fishing. So everybody, everybody, you know, growing up, you want to be the best. Uh, so I brought the Big Water, which is Lake Erie, and the Walleye Championships. And we're going to run this thing through Ohio. And uh, the whole course of the year, you're going to be the best team of the year and uh, win some big money. And we're going to give you the Ohio State Championships when it's all said and done. So you're going to be the Ohio Big Water Walleye Champion. Awesome. How, how did this all get started? Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the series? Well, the Lake Erie Walleye Trail, the loot, um, is formerly with the Western Basin Sports Fishing Association. Guys long before my time uh, started that. And it was just a group of guys. And they, they, they fished. They wanted to fish competitively. So they started a tournament circuit, you know, probably somewhere in the ballpark of 20 years ago. And uh, these guys brought this thing up. Uh, my predecessor, uh, Jeff Lash, uh, he wanted to move away, do some different things family-wise. So he gave me an opportunity to be the tournament director. Um, and from there we branched off and I actually purchased the WBSA and turned that into the big water walleye championships, uh, just because the club, the WBSA, uh, was, was no more. And we started the walleye championships and we kept the Lake Erie walleye trail. And, uh, it's, it's, it's been long since, um, the best tournament series on Lake Erie and we want to do nothing but make that thing better. Awesome. You guys are also doing a tournament this year in conjunction with the Masters Walleye Circuit. Tell me a little bit about that partnership and what that's all about. So last year, um, the Masters actually by accident had to change one of their dates. Uh, they were coming to Lake Erie, but it was on a different date. And, and I believe the uh, Mercury Nationals uh, had a scheduling conflict, so they had to slightly change up their schedule. Well, they coincidentally fell on one of the dates that we had. Well, our anglers, we've got full 60 boat schedule and our anglers um, were kind of like, Hey man, how am I going to fish both these tournaments? So I reached out to uh, their MC and one of their main guys, Jeff Kelm. And I said, Hey, let's, let's work together on this thing. And the MWC, the master's walleye circuit was, you know, they welcomed us with open arms and they said, Hey, you know, we want to do nothing but accommodate you guys. And we ran it two tournaments in one. And uh, all the anglers loved it. I mean, we had a, about a 106 boat field and we ran it out of Lorraine and it was a huge success. So this year we just said, hey, let's let's do the same thing again. They loved it. We loved it. It was a great time. Huge money on the line with two tournaments. Anglers can fish both of them and uh, if they want or they could just fish one and they can come in. All the sponsors love it because there's there's huge amounts of crowds and boats and uh, anglers, you know, seeing all the different products. So it's nothing but good for the for the Lake Erie area. This year we're out of Port Clinton. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about the full schedule. You've got eight events plus that other event. Uh, if you can go through kind of that full schedule for us. So we start we start out uh, in McGee. Uh, we're coming up on March 27th. McGee East is a marina campground, and they accommodate us. <clears throat> we we start out that way. We got some pre spawn fish. Hopefully we can get into. Uh, some of those pre-spawn big heavy bags that guys bring in, uh, followed by uh, Port Clinton, um, and then we'll move to Huron and Lorraine. And then as the summer progresses, we work our way out to Ashtabula, uh, the ARU campground with a Vic Sports Center open. Uh, from there, we'll go to Geneva with the uh, Geneva on the Lake, the GOTL um, DB Marine event. So we hold 
uh, to Ashtabula and Geneva. We hold kind of two separate events in one. Um, our team event, which is two anglers uh, per boat, those guys accumulate team of the year points. And we also hold an open where you can go with your family, your friends, unlimited anglers. We hold a, a nine rod limit and you can just more for fun, see what it's about. It gets a lot of the charter guys involved, some of the big boats. It's just not for team of the year points, uh, but it's still, you know, a standalone tournament. So we do that in Ashabula, Geneva. Then we'll work back to Fairport uh, as the fall progresses in October. And we run a Cleveland championship uh, right out of Gordon Park, uh, East 72nd, um, two-day championship. And uh, that's going to be for all the marbles. Guys that uh, fished, guys and gals that fished for the year that accumulate team points are going to be really fighting for that one because the points are slightly increased for the championship. And you got an extra 10 grand on the line for team of the year. Very cool. Tell us a little bit about that team of the year, Jason. How does that work? How does it work uh, in this series? How do you become the team of the year? So team of the year, uh, what I what I dreamed up when I when I thought of this thing is everybody wants to be the best. So in, in that you have no mulligans, um, no redos and just all grit and grind for the entire season. So what we did is we made we made it team of the year based on four events and the championship so you can fish um you can fish any of the four events you want you can fish more than four events but we're going to take your best four calculate those team points in conjunction with the championship and you're going to be uh crown team of the year at the end of the year and so we have two great sponsors vic sports center and, and uh, sa communal they ponied up throughout the big bucks and uh, they're giving the champion an extra $10,000. So if you're a Ranger boat owner with Ranger Cup, you're probably looking at twelve dollars to $13,000 to win the tournament. If you're in the side pot, you're looking at at least another couple grand. And then uh, to, to win team of the year on top of that, if you won the whole kit and caboodle just for the championship, you're looking at probably $25,000 for a, for a $300 entry tournament. And it just doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, so a lot of money on the line there. And again, a $300 entry fee, that's something that's doable for a lot of people. Uh, tell us a little bit. I know you've got all these different ports that you're going out of along Lake Erie, but uh, tell us a little bit about how big the space is, how much water can they fish out of each of these ports? So these guys have open access to Lake Erie, period, uh, and Lake Erie and its tributaries. If they can find the five biggest walleyes, in a mud puddle that stems off of the boat ramp, I want them to bring them back to the scales. These guys are some of the best guys around. I've, I've fished with these guys. I've competed against these guys. And these guys compete against some of the folks on the national level and like the NTC and the Masters Walleye Circuit. And they hold their own. So I'm interested. I, this year, we've opened it up a little bit. Uh, we used to set boundaries, but because we're traveling across the lake, I opened up the boundaries and, and I just want to see where these guys, what these guys come up with. And that's some of the fun with the tournaments is getting at the end of the day. Hey, how'd you guys catch these fish? And uh, they'll tell you most of the time, sometimes they won't, but uh, they'll tell you. And, and, and it's interesting to see how they caught them and where they caught them. So this will be a good uh, learning year for us. Yeah. With that big wide open area, how far do you think some people will go? What do you think uh, is going to be kind of the, the longest trip for some of these people? Where do you think they're going to run uh, to go out and catch the fish that they need? Well, I can tell you that they're going to go as far as their gas tanks will allow them to go. Um, there is no hold barred with these walleye guys. I could rattle a few names off the top of my head right now. Uh, the saying around the tournament series is I got gas money. So if there's fish to be caught, that's where they're going. And uh, 80, 100 mile runs is not out of the question if there's fish to be caught there. But weather plays a big factor. Um, time plays a big factor. And of course, you know, just being able to safely do that plays a big factor. So, you know, most of these guys are in, you know, serious, seaworthy tournament rigs and they, they let it loose on tournament day. Yeah, Lake Erie is one of those bodies of water where trolling is the name of the game in a lot of places. But you guys, you talked about a little bit earlier, you're also going to have a, a kind of a, a casting and jigging type of tournament as well. 
just something different to make guys kind of stick to, to that type of fishing. What went into coming up with an event like that? So a good buddy of mine uh, used to do a jigging event every year, and this year he wasn't for just for a few different reasons. And it's a whole new, uh, I guess, breed of angler. You get a totally different group of guys. Some Sometimes, you know, us trolling guys, I grew up trolling on Lake Erie. Uh, one of my best friends, he grew up jigging on Lake Erie. So you got two totally different guys. I, you know, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, I go out and paddle my buddy every day, but when we put a jigging rod in his hand, he shows me a lot. So I just like to see that you get, you get a whole new group of people and you know, you get a lot of different place winners and it just makes it fun. Put the trolling rods away, uh, jigging on Lake Erie in April's probably some of the best jigging you can do in the entire world. So let put the casting, the spinning tackle in these guys' hands, let them cast and jig and see what they come up with. Very cool, Jason. Uh, there's a lot of established teams participating in, in these events, but uh, what are you seeing so far as far as new teams coming into the series? I'm seeing a lot of new teams. So one thing we did this year is we advertised slightly more than what we had in the past. Um, we see teams uh, from Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Uh, I know we got some guys coming up from, from Tennessee. Last year, I know we saw North Dakota, some guys that were in fishing the fall brawl, fish some of our late events. Uh, so you're always seeing new teams and, and, you know, especially our local guys. There's always new people jumping into Lake Erie. And with a $300 entry, it gives you just enough leeway to say, yeah, we'll go do that for the weekend or, or we'll do, you know, we'll, we'll try our hand at this. And, and you get tons of teams that may not have ever tournament fished before. Uh, and that's kind of what it's all about because you, you just create new friends. And I know I wouldn't be where I am today in the tournament um, world if I hadn't just started fishing tournaments. Very cool. Jason, uh, if people were thinking about doing this, what would you tell them? Someone is thinking about going from the guy that goes out and does some fishing on the weekends to thinking about going in, getting into a tournament. Uh, why would you recommend them fishing into, into a tournament? So there's, there's a few reasons, but the first um, reason that comes to my mind is just camaraderie with the guys. It is awesome to finish the tournament, have weigh-ins, you know, everybody, you know, goes into their cooler and gets their, their favorite sweet tea, uh, if you're asking me, um, and just, just kind of just chums it up a little bit. You meet people, uh, you get to talk to people, you find out how they caught the fish, things that you've never even tried to before, so you actually learn. And then you learn where and when and, and, and how on the lake. So camaraderie and communication is one thing. Um, second reason for me is competition. So I grew up playing sports and I'm all washed up now. I'm old timer. I'll break my ankle or something if I try to play soccer with the kid. Uh, so I stay away from that and I go out and I just bring back that old, that old school competition. Um, and then lastly, it, it's just, it just adds that element to fun fishing and a challenge in your life that, Hey, I can go out and I can catch fish. Lake Erie is one of the best places right now just to go catch fish, but to challenge yourself into trying to catch the biggest fish you can on any day, on any weather condition against some of the other anglers who's trying to do the same thing. It's, 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 it, it adds that element that I, you know, kind of miss in my life, you know, Jason, if there, is there something that you wanted to talk about today that I haven't asked you about yet? You know, no, I, I, you kind of covered a lot, but if I were to mention one thing it's for those guys that are kind of on the edge, those families, you know, Hey, my son really likes to fish or my daughter really likes to fish, but I don't know if we're up to tournament status. That's what some of these open events are for. Um, you know, it, yeah, you have an entry fee. Um, but the entry fee, if you split it with, you know, amongst your buddy or a couple people, it's nominal. You're talking a hundred, 125 bucks or so for the day. And, and if you go, you know, you can go out to eat and spend 70, $80 if you take your family. So if you, if you're going out a day out and, uh, you, you bring your family and enjoy a tournament. And I can tell you one person uh, that comes to mind is my man, bug eye. Uh, one of the coolest things I watch is he fished a tournament with his daughter. Uh, it was the first tournament I ever ran. It was a VIX open and they cashed a check, man. And I've never seen a smile on somebody's face bigger than that, you know? And then secondly, uh, our team of the year last year was Mike and Jack Moken. 
those guys won team of the year. And that story for that father and son combo is never, ever, ever, ever going to get old. So for those families out there, it's something cool to do. And you just want to, you just kind of want to, you know, cherish those things. So that's a big part of tournament fishing that guys don't really look at. Jason, if people want to find out more about the big water walleye championships, how do they find out more? The easiest place is on Facebook um, at Big Water Walleye Championships dash Lake Erie Walleye Trail. Um, on Instagram, it's Big Water Walleye Loot, L E W T. And the Big Water Walleye Championships.com is our website. All the information is on all three of those uh, places. You could always reach out to me, uh, Jason Fisher, on, on Facebook, and I put my phone number out there. I'm accessible. I try to answer every phone call I get, um, you know, and, and text message and things like that. So if you have any questions, just contact me. I try to make uh, the Lake Erie Walleye Trail basically as transparent, as easy as possible. It's a pain on me sometimes, but I'm, I'm a talker. I'm not very uh, good with the emails and things like that. So if you want to talk about something or have questions, just call me, text me, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get you answered. Awesome, Jason Fisher from the Big Water Walleye Championship. Really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing a little bit of information about what you guys got going on this year. Good luck this year uh, with the tournaments. I appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys having me on.